for creators it's never been harder to film with a drone what's up guys welcome back to another video today i have a little bit of a rant and and i think most of you will be able to relate let's get into it so today i wanted to cover this topic around how hard it is to find a place to fly your drone i asked this question in my community poll the other day and no surprise a lot of you feel the same way that it is so difficult to find a good place to actually go and fly your drone for whatever purpose you own a drone for the laws that have got passed in the last 6 and 12 months have made it incredibly hard for drone creators, drone pilots and people just trying to create cool pieces of video to go and do that and without having the right amount of money, the right license or you know breaking rules to be able to do that. I remember many years ago my first ever drone I purchased was the DJI Tello. It weighs next to nothing it literally would fit in the palm of my hand. I think I've got it somewhere. You know I used to enjoy flying around there wasn't any rules back then and it's fair to say economically financially it's not the cheapest hobby or creative project to get started in. Cameras and camera drones in general are not so there's a level of responsibility you've got to have when you're flying a drone but unfortunately for whatever reason different laws and different states and different countries want to try to outlaw drones something i've always enjoyed doing is not only flying my drone for recreational purposes but more recently enjoying creating videos with my drone to share on my youtube channel something that is becoming harder and harder to do is actually finding places to be able to share some of that stuff with you guys and with my community and and on youtube because different laws and different state governments want to try to take some kind of cut from the creative projects you're working on for example the national parks here in australia and i think it's pretty common across many countries i know canada has it even stricter than anywhere else that i've heard of but let me know where you're from where you fly your drone and what kind of regulations are in place there but when it comes to flying in national parks, which costs you four or five hundred dollars to here in Australia to just get a application approved to be able to, you know, have your application considered and then approved to fly your drone to capture video is completely outrageous. The obvious ones around not flying in areas that are built up from air traffic control or, a, you know, you've got an active airport or something like that. I can understand all of that. I mean, you, you would be pretty silly to try to fly this, fly a drone close to an aeroplane or a helicopter. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of common sense that comes into it. So I definitely can feel the pain that a lot of drone pilots, drone creators, cinematographers, and just creative individuals are feeling. You know, I've talked to many people about over the past couple of months trying to figure out where we can fly. And some of the most useful things I've done is just join like Facebook groups, that are from you know people that are in my local area they share you know different spots they've gone to fly at and then just hopefully i can get out there but a lot of these places are you know two or three hour drives away and you know with daily commitments it's so hard to actually get out and fly your drone and um, capture beautiful pieces of content for creators it's never been harder to film with a drone the only upside that i can see from this is companies and organizations like dji are going to have to be really creative in the types of drones they they come out with having larger drones that way more may be useful to people that are commercially flying that have the right licenses or maybe that are doing you know agricultural surveys or industrial surveying or something like that but for the everyday creator it doesn't make sense to own a bigger drone like a mavic classic 3 because cool i can get my license and i can get all the accreditations that i can but i won't be able to fly it anywhere anyway unless i'm actually doing it for commercial purposes which let's be honest flying commercially is is great and if you want to make money from your drone it's awesome it's something that i'm also trying to do but there are times where i just want to go out with my dog and my partner if we're out on a day and capture what's surrounding me and it's incredibly hard to do that but i'm really interested in where you're from what you know what kind of problems you face when trying to fly your drone can you actually fly recreationally in your country or in your state at some point there's going to have to be some consistency in, in different areas and i at the moment the only consistency i can see is that it's incredibly difficult for everyone that's all i had for you today if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel i've got a lot more content planned out for you 
and it's the best way to support the growth of my channel and let me know that you enjoy watching the content that I'm actually creating. Apart from that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye.